The protest began in a very charged atmosphere with singing, drumming and dancing. The workers of the Textile Ghana Limited, producers of GTP and Woodin Fabrics, had only one message. The only target is that Fatou must do what? Oh! The only target is that Fatou must do what? Oh! They laid down their working tools as a way of protest. Hundreds of workers would have been here printing different kinds of designs in their fabric, the GTP and the wooden, but that is not the case today because the workers here have laid down their tools in protest of what they term the unfair treatment from their MD. And their simple request is that the MD must go. The security man at the gate was under explicit instructions not to allow anyone into the yard and so he refused access to the personnel from the Ghana police service and this led to his arrest. The protesters locked their yard gate demanding the release of their colleague. Our demands are simple. We don't want any managing director who will come and temper with our collective agreements. The things in our collective agreement are the things that binds us. They are our future. They are the things that after working here for many years, when you are exiting, that is where you get your package from. If we get any managing director who will come and unanimously without negotiation decides to cancel some things without consultation, then that person is a threat to our livelihood as employees. And that is why we don't want her. She's signing contract, giving contract out to her friends. And this contract that she's giving out to her friends, in actual fact, are things that people within the factory has already finished doing. So we have very capable people who can do it. But when you have selfish people who have interest to do things that are not into the favor of the organization, this is what they end up doing. So she has decided to sign contract for a company that even is not registered in the Registrar General Department. Addressing the angry workers, the General Secretary of the Industrial and Commercial Union, Morgan Ayewini, said the workers would continue to protest until the MD was relieved of her position. Today is the day for salvation. Today is the day for the liberation of the workers of Texas Ghana Limited. And we are surely, we are surely going to achieve this go since the assumption of duty of the managing director of texas ghana limited in september 2021 she has been disregarding the union and offending the sensibilities of our members who are workers of texas ghana limited with her high-handed unilateral and insensitive management decisions to the displeasure of the union and to the detriment of Texas Ghana Limited. We see this negative attitude of the managing director as a recipe for agitation by workers of Texas Ghana Limited, and no wonder the manifestation is here with us. This action is for the whole day. This action is, goes beyond tomorrow. This action will continue on Monday. This action will continue on Tuesday. A new managing director must come. A new managing director must come. Please. A new managing director must come. To boy. According to the general secretary, their action is not targeted at any foreigner. Oh, we don't target foreigners. There are so many foreigners uh, in Ghana that is enjoying a good working relationship with Ghanaians and for that matter uh, trade unions. It is not a target, but it is just a, a concern that we have raised that we must, when you have the, 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 the wheat, you know, and then the chaff, you need to sort out and pick the chaff, you know, from the wheat so that you can have a good meal. The local chairman of the Industrial and Commercial Union at the GTP factory, Joseph Kuglenu, re echoed their stance. We reported her to the National Union, which is ICU. They came down and they talked to her. We, her. we thought she would stop, but she's still doing it. And we realized that she's trying to become a dictator because she do not want anybody to dictate for her. So, for that matter, we are demonstrating today that she must go. My name is Fred Duo, reporting from Tema for City News.